Hello farmers and welcome back to the hills of Tuscany for one last time Down here at the TMR building grabbing the last of the TMR that we currently have uh, Should be about 14,000 liters I think or maybe a little bit more I don't know exactly how much is in there like 14 to 16 I think um, Meanwhile the cotton harvest is going on in the last field that we need to harvest I thought I got the grass fields to do in November and that's gonna be kind of key moving forward to help us feed the sheep and the cattle. Uh, speaking of the cattle though, we are going to sell some of the moo cows today. All males must go. Uh, since I'm not really going to be fertilizing any of the fields or moving forward, I really don't need the extra manure or slurry currently. Uh, but we will keep the females around uh, because they're, you know, they're making milk and also offspring. But by getting rid of the males, I will save myself on how much food that they're going through. So that can help me maybe skip through these next few months a little bit quicker. Uh, at least I hope that's the plan. Uh, course plate is done over there, so just gotta grab those cotton modules and get them on over to the spinnery. Also, I was thinking about them like, oh, I gotta get the uh, the sugar plant. Uh, it's starting to run, I don't wanna say low, but it's got like 160,000 liters of cut sugar beet in there making sugar for the candy factory. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need to fill that up. And I'm like, well, I don't need any more candy and we're not going to be here for the sale in June. So if it runs out, yeah, <laughs> I'm at that stage now where it's just like, we're just here just to repay the loan today. Uh, that's all we really need to do. And I think when we get to the clothing, that should be enough. All right. So that's all the TMR that we have. They have enough food to get through the month, but they're going to have a lot more here in just a second as I... Apparently, I left that door open. That's not good. We need to close that. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and sell all the male cows and see what that brings us down to. We currently have 65. The trigger is... Oh, it's right there. There we go. Uh, female, 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 male. Uh, okay, just one there. Well, you know, as males, we tend to eat a lot. So, you know, that, that could help out. Uh, another male there. Uh, two of them. Uh, female, female, male. Are we going to get it like a list? Uh, no. I mean, we started with 65. We're down to 60. All right. Uh, we got some males here. Uh, okay, one of them. And plus, we are getting cash at the same time. So it's kind of like a, a bonus bonus. Not a whole lot of cash, but it is something. Uh, another male here. And okay, we got some more down here. All right, just one. And where are we? I know I saw another one. There we go. Uh, two of them in that group. Uh, female, 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 male. Just one. I mean, we were at 65. We're down to 52. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so there's there's five. Uh, okay, we still got some more. <laughs> But, I mean, we needed the males previously because of all the... We needed the slurry and the manure. So, selling them, I would have had less manure and slurry to spread in the fields. So, I mean, they helped out. But there we go. Uh, yeah, we got rid of 23 cattle right there. So, now if I go to this page here, they only require 47,000 liters per month. So, now I can go two months without having to feed them. Yeah, they agree. And I think all the ladies may may enjoy being by themselves for a little bit. So they're all set. Uh, let's go ahead and grab, or at least get rid of the notification that our worker is done over here. So we'll just hop in there. Uh, I think I can spit that module out. The 953 liters is going to have to stay inside the, the cotton harvester. But... That's going to be fine because we're we're not going to go through all the cotton that's in the spinnery anyways. Drop that off there. Yep, we're going to leave that there. All right, let me jump over to... I almost uh, tried to change trucks like I do in SnowRunner. That's not going to work here. Any modules over here? No. Well, it's rolling on down to me. I will have to probably repair this truck here and the T8. The T8 will be running around 
getting us the food for the animals and probably the 130 the 130 or the Lamborghini I guess uh, can run the wool from the sheet down to the spinnery as well so I only need about three vehicles to get what we're doing here for the end of Tuscany uh, taken care of so I pretty much really just got done recording last episode that you saw a couple days ago I took a one hour break um, I needed to because I didn't realize I'd, I was on here for almost five hours <laughs> prepping for that video and recording that video I'm hoping I'm not here for another five hours to get this one recorded I, I don't think so All right, another module here that is great although this is more than what we need Yeah, we just got to cut the grass field and sell stuff. But yeah, I was thinking uh, as I log back in, I'm kind of uh, glad that the series is coming to an end, but at the same time, kind of sad. Uh, happy because to me, it was just getting a lot of repetitiveness. And of course, maybe recently I've been doing a lot of off-camera work. And uh, yeah, that's, that starts to pile on you a little bit. But kind of sad because I do love the layout of the map. It does have some quirks in it. As we saw last episode, we got the sheep and the cows over in the... I don't need to be going here. I need to be going out here, actually. Uh, out in the soybean field. But other than that... Oh, yeah, and the traffic. The traffic can be a little, little dangerous, especially at this corner up here. I need to put, like, a traffic light or something over here. But all in all, uh, I do love the map. Loved it when I first saw it. I still love the map. Uh, maybe it's production lane over here. I like the way this turned out. I think it looks pretty good, you know, even though I kind of created it myself. Uh, but with the fences and the way it just lays out, not too bad. All right, but we do need to sell, getting back on track here, what we're doing today. Uh, we do need to sell the preserved food because... I barely put those veggies in there yesterday. I say yesterday, last month. And within a month, we're over half full in storage. So if I try to get to November, it will probably stop producing because there's no more room inside the inside the production building. So we just swing in here. We need to grab what we can and see where it's going. Yeah, the candy, we'll have enough candy for backup in case we get to April. And the clothing doesn't quite get us to repaying off the loan. But, uh, wait, are we down to what? What are we down to? <laughs> are we down to a million and a half? It was just an hour ago, but, uh, yeah, 1,540,000 is what we owe. And usually with the clothing, I get almost a million and a quarter. So, the pasta, we should get almost like 200,000. So, yeah, we're... And now we got to sell potato chips and all this preserved food. And we got the soup over there and months going forward. We should be fine. Yeah, when I set the goal back, I don't know what it was, like year number three. I was like, oh, let's have that $10 million paid off in 10 years. I was like, I don't know. But then uh, here we are now. And we're getting along just fine. Uh, preserve food, restaurant, market stall, and farmer's market. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> can we spread it around more? Uh, I think I'll just go to the market stall because it's down the road. I'm guessing, uh, yeah, we'll just, I'm, I'm not going to bother checking. Uh, we're just going to go to market stall because it's nearest and uh, it's convenient. Farmer's market would be next. And then the restaurant, even though I do like going down there because we hardly go down there enough. I don't feel like making that trip today. So we're going to the market stall. Market stall it is. And then we can go ahead and, I believe, call it a month. Let's see what we get here. I didn't really look at the totals, what they were going for, just looking at where they needed to go. Like it to sell all one go, but oh wow, look at that money pour on in. Almost had it all in one go. I mean, that's uh, 66,000. 
almost $67,000 in preserved food that we just made in one month. So we're going to pay a little bit more off the loan. We're going to make it $1.5 million. And we'll sell some next month, I think. Uh, let the potato chips build up a little bit and make it more more dramatic. Do I care about the honey? Like I said, I really don't care about the candy. I'll leave it there for now. Yeah, we, the candy is like, yeah, it's there. Uh, but not really needed to be sold at all or taken care of. But I will try a little bit to, you know, keep up on some things. All right, so 1.5 is what we are down to. Let me just look at all the fields again just to make sure. I mean, if I missed any, it, I, it could be too late anyways. But I think we harvested them all. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, everything everything has been harvested. Okay, so that's looking good. Uh, let me just double check on the animals. But I believe they're all set to go. So the cows, 107,000 liters, 76,000 liters of water. That's good. These sheep are good. These sheep are good. And I'm going to assume the production buildings, just the soybean flour is being made. Pasta and noodles are on the go. Uh, wait, am I out of the grass? I am. Okay, so no more silage. I got. I think I got plenty of silage in the TMR building, so when I cut the grass next month, it's all going to go into here. And we do got plenty of hay. I do believe they get us till June, uh, not June, sorry, but April. Uh, preserved food, we got a whole bunch of it still to go. Soup, still chugging through that. Clothing, everything is looking good there. Uh, candy. We are out of strawberries, but like I said, not that big of a deal. Uh, some strawberries are being made. Oh yeah, TMR. Yeah, we got plenty of silage. I don't think it's going to go through that silage and make TMR. I think all we got in here is going to be fine. Sugar, like I said, that's going to run for another few months anyways. But candy, like we're not going to be here until June, as I mentioned. Uh, some flowers, that's important. That is running. Uh... Plenty of milk, butter, and cheese. Yep, we just sold that. Yeah, so we're all good. We're all good. i just got to refresh my memory and also keep you guys on track of what's going on here as well. But it's really early in the morning. It's still only 10 o'clock, so going to bed with about 43,000. I probably should have slept until 9 a.m. because being November in Tuscany, that mountain's going to be blocking the sunlight, so it's going to be a little bit cloudy. But it's not going to take me long to cut the grass in both fields and also pick up with the forage wagon and just bring it all on down to the haymaker. Uh, so we made about 10 grand overnight. That's pretty good. Let me just double check on the animals. Like I said, they should be fine. Yeah, th these sheep are fine actually for another two months. Uh, but the small pen, they're going to need some food. And the cows should be good for another month. 50,000. And 62,000. That number went up, so we must have got some newborns in there uh, along the way. Uh, let me fast forward time a little bit just to get the sun up. The sun will be up, but it may not be as bright because that mountain's going to be shading the sun. But we'll get till 9 o'clock. There we go. Yeah, let's just double check on the stock market page. So potato chips, $60,000 farmer's market, uh, preserved food. Uh, maybe we'll grab the soup today. Farmer's Market Market Stall. Maybe we'll just grab a whole bunch of stuff and just go to the Farmer's Market with it. But let's go grab the T8 and grab the mowers. we got to get that hay in there. And then i got to put some hay in the forage wagon afterwards uh, so I can feed the sheep. The small pen of sheep. And maybe I'll top off the cows with some hay as well. All right, back up to this mower here. Now, the forage wagon is getting kind of low on silage additive, which adds 5% when picking up grass. Um, if I run out, I run out. I'm not going to run down to the store just to get a little bit of extra for our last cut here. All right, spread that butterfly mower. Looking good. All right, one last time of cutting this grass. You know, I probably should have mowed the other field first only because this field here 
if I remember correctly, this was the first field I actually worked in when we moved here to Hills of Tuscany. I want to say it was a sorghum field that was here. And we harvested it immediately, turned it over to grass. That way we had feed for the sheep. I think the sheep is what we had first. I may have gotten sheep and cows at the same time. Don't remember, it's been a while. Actually, I probably should have looked up to see when the first episode of Tuscany was put out. But I want to say we've been here for like five months, probably. I think we came here in May and we're going to end it in September. So, yeah, somewhere around five months I would say we've been here. Maybe it was even before May. And I did see when I was editing... The episode I just recorded, but if you saw it two days ago, um, that was episode 100. It would have been kind of neat if we did end the series on 100 episodes, but now I can say we went over 100 episodes here, because this will be 101. Now, in case you didn't hear or didn't see last episode, uh, well, shame on you. But I did talk just a little bit about, I don't know uh, the next series, what map it's going to be on. I have ideas of what I want to do, um, but I'm pre-recording these episodes, well this one and the last one, earlier than usual to kind of give myself a little bit of a break from recording farming simulator videos. I mean, I still got Western Australia, but I record Western Australia one day and then Hills of Tusky in the next. Just like the episodes go out back and forth. Uh, but my pre-recording these a lot earlier is going to just give me a couple days off from maybe recording Farming Simulator. I will be uh, checking out maps on those days to figure out where we go next. It's going to be a small map. When I say a small map, uh, it's going to be a small farm that we're running. Western Australia, of course, is a big map. Uh, with big fields, so that takes, you know, if I just say, hey, we're going to go harvest a field, that could take an hour in real time to get the field <laughs> harvested. So getting that done in an episode, along with some other things, it's, you know, a lot of recording time to get those episodes done. Uh, I don't want to say it's going to be Solendra size in fields and such. Maybe, I, I would like to say something more like Goldcrest Valley, but maybe this is slightly smaller. Uh, and farm work. So, I'll see. Uh, like I said, I do got some ideas and some plans of maybe what I would like to try to do. But, um, being it's going to be the last series I start in FS22, uh, Western Australia, I do plan on running that until the end of FS22. And, of course, the series, whatever series takes place of this, that will run also to the end of FS22. and But we're only talking 25 episodes, so I gotta try to think of a, a way, because usually the way my series run, 25 episodes in a series, I'm just getting started, uh, <laughs> usually. So, yeah, I don't know exactly how that's gonna work out for me, because it'll be different kind of a gameplay style, or maybe I'll just go a relaxed style. Well, I mean, relax. Like, here's a farm. Let's just farm and see what happens. Uh, not really any set goals, but you know me. I'm going to have some kind of, I don't want to say unique things that we can or cannot do. Just to mix it up and be a little bit, you know, change up the way that we run a farm or, or whatever. But basically what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, this episode will be going out on a Thursday. And usually... The next episode for Tuscany will be on Saturday. When Saturday comes, uh, of course, there won't be a Tuscany episode. And I don't know if I'll be starting a new series on that Saturday. Um, there's a couple of games that I've been also showing, showcase, not showcasing, but showing on the channel that I've kind of, they've taken a back seat just because of all the other videos I've been putting out. So I need to kind of get back into those games just a little bit make a couple more episodes and so maybe on Saturday um, you will see construction sim uh, in the afternoon well I say afternoon that's afternoon for me uh, but the first episode could be something else that I've already uh, shown on here 
as well. Uh, I know Demolish and Build 3 seems to be going off better than I thought it would. Um, so it could be something like that. Uh, I haven't been back in the fork lift simulator <laughs> in like four or five days, so I don't know. And who knows? I might get thrown another game at me that I didn't even know was even out there. And the next thing you know, it's like, oh, well, this one, this game looks interesting. Or there could be an update to another game that I got to cover as well. So who knows? Basically, <laughs> I should just summarize it and say, uh, Saturday is, I don't know, y you figure out what goes here. Because I don't know yet either. All right. So it's not going to take me long to finish up mowing up this grass field here. Uh, but then we'll grab the forge wagon. And as, as, as I said, everything uh, of all this grass is going into the haymaker. We'll turn that on. And then it's pretty much just uh, down to selling stuff and repaying off the final 1.5 mil. will do it for the grass field and harvesting on the hills of Tuscany. We are, we are done harvesting stuff. Well, kind of. I guess if you're going to be harvesting the animals a little bit. Uh, but yeah, as far as fields go, this is it. This is all we have. And uh, something else I'm almost out of uh, and don't have is fuel. Need to put some fuel in this T8 because I will be using it to feed the animals. But let's go ahead and put this into the haymaker and make sure I turn that on. Still trying to be in the habit of not driving on the fields. Although, I, like I said, I have admitted many times off camera, I just drive straight across. Try not to do that because you get into certain habits and you got crop destruction on. And you forget what you're doing and you drive across the field, you lose thousands of dollars in crop. Uh, not far enough in. There we go. This haymaker will not take long to go through this grass and make it the hay. Uh, scroll down here. Whoop. Nope, wrong one. I saw a green, got excited. That was the wrong green. That's what I'm looking for. And activate. Oh, oh, while we're here, though, let's not leave empty handed. Uh, am I not? 
Okay, wait a minute. Why I won't accept the hay? Hey, what's up? I want hay. Was it because I was in there with grass and was getting confused? No, it must be because I was taking the hay. So I just got to put hay into the small sheep's pen. And then I'll keep the rest for next month and feed the small sheep again. And I'll just keep feeding the large sheep pen and the cows when needed if I know they can't go another month. We'll top them off, but for a while it's going to be hay for the cows because the TMR production, as you saw, uh, we are pretty much out of TMR. And probably what I should do, because it is just midday, this might be a good time to fix the T8, and that way it's good to go the rest of the way. I don't need that much fuel, but dump it on in there, please. Well, are we out of fuel? Uh, well, <laughs> the T8's not out of fuel now, but I think I'm out of fuel in my tanker. I could buy some more, but as long as we're in the green, we should be okay. And I don't expect... I'm not going to be doing a lot of field work with this at all. So, don't worry about it. It's fine. Let's go ahead and give these sheep what they need. Uh, the cow's water. I almost forgot. Cow's water. How's that looking? That's good for another month. And the, the straw in the cow's barn? Not going to worry about that either. I just want to get this close enough over here so what I can do is we need to grab the realistic damage mod crate and bring that over to here. That should be in the range of both. Uh, jump into here. Control J. Start inspection. Yes. And then jump into 130. Control J. Start inspection, yes. So at 12.42, those should be done inspecting and we can repair them. Uh, this is what we need next. So we're grabbing the potato chips and everything to do with soup. And going to the farmer's market with it. Um, how, how full again is the preserved food? That's the wrong button for that. I need to be here. Uh, preserve food. That should be able to go another month. I think that's it for the tater chips. Yep. That's it for now. Now we just got to swing in and grab the preserved food, which is right over there. You know where it is. It's almost like this truck and trailer was made for production lane. It wasn't the beginning because I had the longer chassis and that caused some issues of me turning around. But after I got the shorter chassis, for the most part, um, it's done well. My backing up skills hasn't gotten any better, but... <laughs> yeah, it's almost like the truck and trailer were made for production lane. Alright, give me all the soup. And then we'll pay more off the loan. Just to save a little bit more on the interest. Am I going to get a full trailer? Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be good enough for today anyways. All right. Farmer's Market. This should be a pretty good payday. I'm going to guess 85000 
Hope that get it all in one go. Okay, not even close. <laughs> 151,000. Oh, I was way off. You can tell I wasn't really looking at the prices earlier. Well, all right then. Uh, let's get back to production lane. We'll get this truck inspected. And then we can get all three vehicles that I need for the rest of the episode and the series um, repaired. And we'll be good to go. And, yeah, we're going to throw $200,000 at the loan. All right. Where is that... There it is, right there. That way, all I need to do is this. Control J, start inspection. Oh, wait, did I inspect it? No, I didn't. There we go. Uh, so, let's just fast forward for an hour. But then the prompt should come up anyways and tell me how much more damage they found. Was it 13, 13? Yep, there we go. And we'll just slow down time to times one for now. All right, so control J, uh, dam uh, damage all three for a thousand, repair damages, yes. Now let's go up to the other two. Those should be done for inspection as well. So only two damages, repair those. And once these are fixed, they're good to go for another year. But we're not here that long. All right, um, the loan. Yes, the loan, loan, loan. Just pay as much as I can. That was that was a good sale because that was that was unexpected. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've gone from well, fifty eight hundred. Uh, September was five one three three. Yeah, okay, I remember that. I remember that. That was only like a couple hours ago. And then of course we did pay off some before we went through October, so I got right down exactly five thousand. So. Uh, should be interesting to see uh, what we get now. But everything should be good to go. And we'll wake up in this December. What I'm going to do is, of course, check on the pasta prices. Uh, we are going to sleep until 9. That's the latest we can sleep. FS22 looks like we should be able to sleep uh, at any time to any time of the day. I think. Uh, when I saw in one of the uh, preview of gameplay. I think I saw a farmer cop do that. All right, so we got 4,300. I don't know what we went to bed with, but I think it's a little bit more than what we went to bed with. Uh, sold animals. Yep, yep, yep. That's all sheep because we're not selling cows. Just waiting to see what the loan interest is. Uh, loan interest, 4,316. All right, so not too bad. Uh, right. Uh, so animals, let's see. Oh, we're getting up there. Milk. Yep, they made it through. So they got 9,000 liters uh, of food. They need hay, of course, and they need hay as well. So this is the month for the pasta, but the price is going up, and it's going to keep going up until uh, probably midnight. So I'm going to just do a jump cut. I'm going to take care of the animals, and it'll be time to sell that. Uh, preserved food needs to be sold today as well. Looks like a 0KM and 0KM shop both need to go there. Uh, that's where we'll bring those. So I'm going to feed the animals. We'll sell the preserved food. If my vehicle is ready, I can feed the animals. <laughs> I kind of forgot. I repaired them. I don't know if it's done yet because I didn't see what time it said to be done. Uh, apparently it's done. Will the engine start? Oh, good. Engine starts. That's always a plus. Uh, will this engine start? It does. Even better. Did I grab the wool out of here in November? I'm thinking I didn't. That, that was bad of me. We need, we need that to keep on going. Alright, I'm going to take care of the animals and I'll see you in a little bit. Well, the animals all have been given their feed. The cows will need probably some water. But, I do need to probably sell their milk as well. But first, we're going to take care of the potato chips. And also, we're going to grab the preserved food and go to the 0KM shop. That is the sell point where I always hit the hedges. 
And then we'll grab the tanker, which is up at the cow barn, fill that up with milk, sell the milk, and then we'll give them water. I'm filling up the T8 with TMR. And we made a lot of TMR since I last used it. We had like 120,000 liters of it. So that's a good amount. Definitely will feed the cows for a few months. Hopefully I'm close enough to get the back row too. Looks like I am. Once again, I did not really look at prices. I just saw the best price. I didn't see what uh, the stock market page was telling me it, what the max price or what I should be getting for it today. So a little bit of a surprise to myself as well what we sell it for. All right. Zero KM. Here we go. Going to go in the way we always do. And then, of course, once we sell the milk and take care of the cows with the water, it's pretty much just waiting for the best time to sell the pasta, but that's going to be somewhere uh, when the new year rings in. Somewhere close to midnight. Ooh, am I actually not going to hit the hedges or the building? I may be nicking the building. Eighty-eight thousand. That looks great. I don't think traffic is going to be coming my way. I hope. Going to watch out for that car there. That car there could give me some trouble. All right. For now, just drop off this trailer here. All right. Time to get the tanker and fill that up with milk. I figure I'd take care of the cow's water first since there was already water inside the tanker. Now he's got to back right up to the door. And there goes the milk. Right, so the cows are, should be all set except for straw. And for those keeping track, let's see how we're doing on the slurry. It's probably not going to go up as high, but 900,000 liters of slurry. And 600,000? Almost 650,000 liters of manure. Also, while that's filling up, we do have 51 cows. Were we not down to like 40-something? So we did get some offspring. Let's see if we got any males in the group, which I'm sure we must have. Uh, yep, there's some males right there. All right. Oh, there's a male down here. Back to 45. <laughs> so what did we get all males on that? Uh, were we not 45 before? I forgot. Maybe we were down to 41. So maybe we got some females. Not that it matters because they're not going to give us milk, the newborns anyways. So let's see how we're doing here for milk. The milk is down all the way as far as it can probably go because we are full. So this is actually going to the chocolate production. which is just up there on the hill. Let me weave my way through the farmyard. The sheep had a lot of wool, but then again, I think I forgot to bring it down in November. But I was pretty impressed with the amount of wool that they had. But the way we're selling things, that's got to happen today. I mean, I can't end the series without running into that fence at least once during the episode. But with the amount of material that we're selling before we get to the clothing, the clothing doesn't seem to be... It's still very important, don't get me wrong. It's been important throughout uh, the series since we got the clothing going. But it's not going to be as crucial as I thought it would be when April rolls around. We'll have a look here in just a moment. 
once I do get up to the chocolate production as this truck finds its way up to the gears and really once we sell yep driving across the field I know uh, once we sell the pasta here in a few minutes at midnight I uh, will be advancing time by the way uh, well pro I'm probably going to skip or jump cut uh, from December slash January all the way to April but I'll be taking care of the animals in the meantime and maybe a production building if it gets too full I'll have to empty it out you know what? I don't know where the cell point is up here. Let me turn on the markers. All right, right here. Why that selling? We'll just take a quick peek here because uh, I can do this before that gets sold. Clothing currently, uh, we got six hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars worth, and in the production here for clothing. Okay, I don't remember where the clothing is. Yep, we're doing fine. Wool, cotton, we're looking good. And the milk. $47,000 worth of milk. Alright, I will see you when it's time to sell the pasta. Well, I've been spitting up time while waiting for the TMR mixer to fill up the forge wagon. Don't think I've shown off too much what the farmyard looks like at night. I kind of don't remember how it looks like myself, but now you can see it. Pretty well lit up. I think I did show it off not long ago. Uh, maybe about 20 episodes ago or so. Or maybe it was last time I sold the noodles. I was doing the exact same thing. Uh, but anyways, just want to make sure the cows are pretty well fed here. Uh, but while that's selling, uh, this dry pasta has peaked at 1836. That down arrow showed up and it was at 1810 and it rose another 26. Soy noodles are still going up, uh, but it's almost midnight and it's time to time to sell all this stuff. Uh, this is going to take a few trips. Once again, I did not really see the grand total that I'm going to get for all this. Only place to really sell it is the market stall. So we're at 152. Um, I think we'll get like 150 and total maybe so maybe we'll be up to 300,000 when I get done if I don't run into light post that'd be great because it's kind of hard to sell it all in one chunk when you do that Well, just want to let you know, I had nothing to do with this traffic problem, even though I usually am part of it. Guess I'll have to just turn off traffic. that is all the pasta that we have for now uh, I think Rosa might still be making some soy noodles but uh, that sale there will probably be it and the only thing left I think we'll be selling in the series is the clothing let me get out of the way I say get out of the way I don't I haven't turned traffic back on I think I'm just gonna leave it off honestly oh I probably should actually go into the clothing and start emptying out this the uh, storage area because it might be getting a little full in there. So, let me go ahead and park this right here. And I'll start loading up with some wonderful, wonderful clothing and put it behind us here. If it wants to spawn at any second, that'd be great. But I think with the money that we have, we should be getting our loan below, below one million in just a moment, correct? And 
Okay, that should free up a lot of space in storage. I mean, that's 56,000. Is this unloading to the... I want to unload to the right. Make sure I leave myself some room to bring more wool on down later on, but I can take care of this off camera as I'm skipping through to April. Turn the lights off, but let's go into our financial page. Oh, uh, no, we're going to be just shy of getting a below 1 million. Well, close enough. All right, let's go ahead and go to bed. Uh, where's my house? There's my house. And we'll wake up at nine. All the animals should be good to go. Wake up a little bit of extra cash, although we didn't sleep that long that we uh, have been sleeping. And we're just going to write to the financial page so we can see. All right, so almost a thousand dollars off loan interest which is nice but still got a million to go but if we look at the clothing alone we're already at nine hundred thousand and it's only january so <laughs> i mean i think i may uh well i i can't that's what i get at the max price if i sold it now i only get 671 so we're still a long ways off for the clothing so i need that price to go up so, I'm going to be taking care of the animals, uh, and I may see you before April. Whenever the time comes to where we can pay off the loan and and uh, just, just, just be done, I guess. <laughs> I'll see you in just a little bit. Well, my friends, welcome to April. Uh, we do wake up this morning with just under 50000 in the bank account. But we still have a million dollars to pay off. Uh, luckily, the clothing should do it. Uh, currently, um, we'll look at it anyways. 10398 is the current price at the Marcus Saul. High price, usually 10319 And you can see, I should get 12, well, 1260000 And we need just uh, just a little over a million? Where, where, is, the, uh, where is it? 1025000 Clothing alone should do it. I'll have to sneak my way around here, though. And that's besides all of the potato chips, uh, preserved food. I don't know if any of those productions... <laughs> I didn't really keep too much track of it, honestly, going from December to April. Because I knew the clothing would be enough. I actually forgot to bring down the wool... Uh, one month and I was like, oh no, that's gonna slow down production but The spinnery the clothing factory still Went through converted it all over the fabric and made it all in the clothing in that one month time So that spinnery is one heck of a spinnery Without that spinnery we wouldn't be where we are All right, so we know we got one full trailer that I put to the side. Well, let's get the rest out. Yeah, we still got some soy pasta to sell if I wanted to. A lot of stuff I could sell if I wanted to, but we're just here at this point to get the loan completely paid off. That way, the new farm manager that's coming in doesn't have any loans and everything on the farm is paid for and they can expand and do as they please as the farm keeps on bringing in money, which it brings in pretty darn good. Is that going to be it for... Yep, yeah, that's it for that. Uh, yeah, that's one full load there. So it doesn't matter if I grab some now. I still got to come back and make a second trip. I do hope... I know I've said it quite a few times, but it's kind of the... One thing personally I would like to see in FS25 is a better breakdown of the economic side of Farming Simulator in 25. So, like, you can click on a, like, that. if I clicked on that building right there, I could see how much that building has made me uh, by selling product. But, I don't think it's going to be able to do that. I mean, there's ways it could be done, but I just think it's going to take 
a lot of coding and probably take up more information what, than what they want to in the software for it to do. But it would be nice just to click on a building and see, hey, you sold, I don't know how much millions of dollars we sold from this clothing production building. I kind of remember saying, though, when I bought that John Deere cotton harvester and I spent a million on it, I'm like, am I ever going to get my money back on that? We did. <laughs> we definitely did. Right, so I should be able to grab all of these pallets. Perfect. All right, let's go make our last sale. I will say this, though. I am exhausted uh, mentally <laughs> currently right now. Like I said, I'm recording this like an hour after I did last episode. And if you remember last episode, I think uh, I did show that I was on for about five hours or so to get the episode done. And I think I'm, I'm over two hours on this one. So at least seven hours today on Hills of Tuscany. And it's getting to be a little exhausting. So if I've been acting a little bit weird, more than usual though, uh, selling stuff and you know why. Uh, <laughs> I'm just mentally exhausted driving around on this map and trying to keep track of what I did. Don't know how many times I fed the animals, but it, it was a lot. But let's go ahead and pay off the final bit of our $10 million loan park that right there let's dive right in can't wait to do this a moment i've been waiting for for a few months not not ending the series but just uh being gone on the loan it reminds me a little bit of the pacific northwest in 19 where we did the 55 million dollar loan challenge Kind of the same thing. It got really repetitive at the end where I was just doing a lot of the same things over and over and over again. Uh, but we really couldn't expand on that map when I was doing it. So I, I'm left with 282000 in the bank account. Uh, but you know what I want? Contracts. We haven't done... I didn't do any contracts in this map. Uh, farmland. Field number five. We bought that one. There, that, they can expand to the oat field. What, <laughs> what do they have in that field, actually? Uh, is that barley? Perfect. They can get straw off of it. That's what the cows need. So I'm helping out the farmer as it is. So yeah, we got plenty more. Actually, if I look at the stock market page, we can kind of get a rough estimate. I still got like a million dollars of stuff in inventory. Obviously, it's not everything. I wouldn't be selling everything that's on this list. Uh, but yeah, a good amount of money I could sell product and expand the farm even more but we had enough fields here um and i'm glad i didn't at first i don't know what i was thinking when i said yeah i'm just going to keep on working the fields as this, uh, if i'm staying here that would have been a lot more plowing and a lot more work oh yeah so how long have i been on for this episode i think it was like five hours for last episode yeah just over two hours so a little over seven hours today on hills of tuscany so Kind of glad I won't be seeing it for a while, uh, but still love the map. Um, the only issues I saw, as I mentioned, is we kept seeing the animals over in our soybean field and a little bit of the traffic. But honestly, the traffic is kind of funny um, in some ways. Uh, we saw the accident that I was in, or at least a couple of them I was in at that, at that intersection. That intersection seems to be the tricky one. And then today, when I was selling the pasta, I had nothing to do with that one, and they, they were just there. Uh, but anyways, Hills of Tuscany. Thank you for those who are still here with me uh, throughout 101 episodes and watching it all the way through and getting the loan paid off. Um, yeah, if you, made, if you did make it this far and you did like the video and even the series, uh, maybe hit that like button down below. Let me know. And uh, while you're down there, hit that subscribe and notification bell as well because, you know, you don't want to miss content like this. Um, as I said, for the next series, I uh, don't know if it'll be out in two days uh, at the normal time that Hills of Tusky is out, or I may just skip uh, a slot for it and start it next week. I, I, I have ideas, but I don't have a map picked out. I haven't looked at any maps. Um, been just real busy doing some other things, so I, I don't know. But kind of, a, it's going to be like a smaller, smaller farm for sure, 
because Western Australia, yeah, that's going to start taking up a lot of my time now as well. Uh, bigger field, so, you know, somewhere between the size of a Solyndra and Goldcrest Valley be my guess. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's going to do it for today and this series. Uh, I do appreciate you watching as always, and I do hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you again in the next one. But until then, have a good one.